Hey there everybody and welcome to Sweet Talks with Ben. In this episode of Sweet Talk, we're going to be working with the custom reminders here within Construction Suite. Now these custom reminders are going to be a great way uh, for you to keep either yourself or other related contacts on the same page. Make sure that no tasks are forgotten. So whether you have a stubborn subcontractor who can't seem to make it to the job on time, he has a reminder that you can automatically send out to let him know what's going on. Or you can use it like I do and remind yourself of an, of an anniversary that's coming up. Um, so to get started, we're going to look at how to create a manual activity. Um, this would be one specifically for yourself since it's not tied to any individual project schedule. Um, and that's going to be one of the two ways that we'll take a look at how to create a reminder. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and select Add Activity here to bring up the new activity window. Now again, this is just going to be a manually created activity that is not assigned to a specific project, meaning that is going to be specific only to you. Uh, so we can just say test activity here. And we're going to just list this as a meeting. Now we can definitely choose the start time, end time, as well as you know when this event is actually going to take place. And then we can also assign any related contacts directly to this activity as well. Now these related contacts are going to be the individuals that are going to be receiving this reminder. So let's just say we're going to select Alice Gorey here. We'll click OK. And then now as we look um, up towards the top here, we have our activities on the left, but we also have another tab and panel for reminders. If we navigate over to the reminders here, we'll see we can set three different types of reminders for this activity. We have our planning reminders, our starting reminders, and custom reminders. Our planning reminders are going to be uh, sent out a little further in advance than just a starting reminder and are typically going to include information that's relevant to uh, the scope of work of that project, really just kind of saying that you need to meet with that contact to discuss any of the details relating to this individual activity. Our starting reminders, uh, which we will go ahead and set now, are actually going to be ones that are sent out much sooner or much closer to the actual start date of the project. That way that contact receives that notification and they know that or they're reminded that there is a task to be completed beginning you know tomorrow or the day after. And then we have our custom reminders which are really just going to be your catch-all. Uh, anything that isn't explicitly stated within the planning and starting reminders you can certainly put into that custom reminder and have all that take place there. So as we're creating the starting reminder, we can choose just to list a, a simple reminder here. We can choose how many days it wants to go out, any of these predefined amount of time. We also can do a specific date. So if we want to say we wanted this reminder to be sent out, um, let's say on Friday, July 11th, we can select that. We can also choose what time of day we want to send that out as well. And we can edit this reminder message. Now this reminder message is, as I said, completely um, is completely editable. So if you wanted to delete any of the uh, groundwork that we've already provided you with, if you want to erase this template, you certainly could go ahead and do so. And then you could just say, hey, Alice, and just say that you have a meeting on that day at 9 a.m. Once that done, once that is done, you can choose how you want to notify this contact or user. If they have a valid email address or mobile phone with mobile provider, you can choose how you can choose to either send them an email or you can send out a text message. If you send this email out to a contact or if you are sending a text message again, make sure that you do have a valid email address and a valid mobile phone number and mobile provider as well. Those are the only ways to send out these reminders, so you want to make sure that you have those in place. Once we're finished, we'll click OK, and this new task is going to be created for Alice to receive that reminder. Now the other way that we can go about creating a reminder is going to be directly from our schedule here. Now this is going to be a scheduled task, so we could select any of our tasks that already have resources assigned to them and send them out a reminder or create a task, set up our resource for that and do so and set up a reminder that way as well. 
since we know our footer's labor is going to be coming up here soon, we want to make sure that we're able to send out Superior Poured Wall a reminder to make sure that they are on, um, on track to show up for this task at the, des at the desired time. So we're just going to right click on Footer's Labor and we'll go to the general task information here. Now once the Edit Schedule Task window is open, we're going to navigate to the Reminders tab here and we'll see the same three reminder types that we saw originally. Now if we wanted to make sure we're sending out this reminder uh, for Superior Port Wall to show up on time, we'll click just a starting reminder. We can choose again how, uh, how many calendar days prior to the start date we wanted this to send out, what time of day they want, we want them to receive this, as well as the information that we want to include within the reminder message. Now we can move over to the notify resources. We'll see superior port walls here as well. And it, given that they had had a valid email address or mobile phone number as well, we can go ahead and choose to send out either a reminder through email or SMS text message. Now in the same way that we can send this reminder out to our resources, we can also choose to send it internally to any of our users within Construction Suite. Here we can choose to add new user, that will bring up the user configuration that we see within Construction Suite and we can choose which of our colleagues we would like to include to receive this reminder. Once this reminder has been completed and you are satisfied with the information that it contains, we can go ahead and click Save and now Superior Port Walls will receive either the email or the SMS text message as we selected uh, for this reminder for this individual task. Well that concludes today's Sweet Talk video. If you like what you saw, I encourage you to take a look at the other videos that we have available to you. As always, I'm Ben. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.